Hello, everyone. I'm Catherine, and welcome to a ABC News at 5. Today, we have Andrew Warner, who immigrated from England in 1631 because of religious persecution. Andrew, how old were you when you immigrated to America? I was 35 years old when I immigrated to America. I immigrated with my wife, Mary Humphrey, and our two children we had in England. When were you born? I was born in 1595. Well, that was a long time ago when you were entered the United States way back then. I entered the United States through Nantesket, Massachusetts on the Lion, which was the second ship to, to America. Only the second ship to United States. There was only about 120 people in the Mayflower. That means you could have been the first one. Where did you first live in the United States? I lived in Cambridge, Massachusetts. When I was there, it was called Newtown. My house was across the street from where they were building Harvard University. You were right where they were building Harvard? Wow, that's pretty cool because Harvard's such a good college. What was your first job? I was an alewife, and I was an alewife catcher. Alewife are a type of fish we use to fertilize the crop, corn crop. I was also a pharmacist and a surveyor, which is someone who measures land. That's a lot of jobs. You must have worked hard. Now let's stop talking about the things that require hard work and go to the things that that are fun, like. What is an interesting story of when you immigrate to America? An interesting story that is it took over two months for our boat, the Lion, to get to America. Another interesting story, this one's not about immigration, but it's a good one. I was on a committee that found Cambridge, Massachusetts. That's where I lived. Our committee also found two other cities, Hartford, Connecticut, and Hadley, Massachusetts. Two months to get to the United States. That's a long time being on a ship. The other story is also interesting because Hartford is now capital of Connecticut and Cambridge. It is a pretty big town. Hadley is a historic town in Massachusetts, right, Anne? Yes, that's correct. It's a nice little historic village in the Springfield, Massachusetts Metropolitan st 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 Statistical Area. Did you have any children? I had eight children. Two of them immigrated with me and my wife, Mary Humphrey, from England. Sadly, she passed away, and I had another wife, Esther Wakeman. We had six kids in America. That's a lot of kids for one family. Now, back then, families had many children since they needed help working because there was so much that had to get done. Where were you born? I was born in the village of Great Waltham, England. Can you tell us some fun facts about your life? My dog bit a Native American's ear, and I had to repair her with medicine and two bushels of corn. Another fun fact is that me and John White were hired to make a fence across the river to keep the pigs and the cattle out of the meadows. Me and John White were paid seven shillings a year for that service. Those are some cool fun facts. Can you tell us some more? Sure. Just before I left for America, Giovanni Branca invented the first steam turbine. A steam turbine. I thought those a long, long time ago when 
We are getting some tweets on Twitter right now. The people want to know what are some popular foods in England and America at the time. Well, in England, kickshaws were the big thing to eat back then. They are fancy French dishes, usually something with sand capers, a French dessert, or croissants of cheese and truffles. That's making me very hungry. I could use a nice snack of goat cheese on crackers right now, but but instead, let's hear about some popular foods in America at the time. Nowadays, people would be stunned that these two food items were some of the most popular back then. They are porridge and different types of pudding. They were definitely not the tastiest things. So really, those were the most popular food items back then? Right, and if you want to talk about popular stuff, talk about the popular music back then. Auld Lang Syne, a wonderful tune. I think it's mostly because of the perfect rhythm. Thank you, Andrew Warner, for for joining us today on NBC News at 5. Welcome to Awesome Interviews. Today we're going to be interviewing Mary. Hi, nice to meet you. Let's get going today. Okay. Today we are going to be asking you some questions. Okay. Where did you immigrate from? Leitrim, Ireland. What year did you immigrate? 1950. What language did you speak in Ireland? I spoke English. Why did you immigrate? I came for a better life and better opportunities. Why did you decide to come? I worked in a store in the town and a priest would come into the store. When he was back in Ireland, he spoke to me many times about coming to America. He helped arrange everything. How did you come? I, I came by plane. It was so loud. Where did you enter the United States? I landed in Rhode Island. Did you have any family or friends here? I had an aunt that I had never met that lived in Rhode Island. She agreed to let me come until I could get back on my feet. What was your first job? I was a cleaning lady in Brown's University. I cleaned the girls' dorm. How old were you when you came? 24. Did anyone come with you to go to the U.S.? No. Who did you leave behind in Ireland? My mom, dad, and two brothers, and two, and four sisters. How did you feel when you left your family? I was scared, but I I felt like I had to go for a better life. Did your family plan to come after you? I was not sure at the time, but they all came eventually, even my mother. Do you regret coming here? No, I met my husband and raised it is in my family. I had a good life. That is all the questions I have for you today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me.